You know we're pretty far into the series when I mess up an intro because I forgot exactly what episode we're on. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here with a very tired man and a very tired truck and a very tired multi to do episode 15 of American Truck Simulator Season 2. Um, the New Mexico DLC, we have one more city to explore before we have explored all of the cities in the game. Um, but first we have to get there. And to get there, we have to go along one of the most interesting roads in the game. Um, I'm extremely excited. So we're actually up really close to Colorado, and of course the Colorado has the Rocky Mountains. So this leads me to believe that we will, in this area, be, uh, we'll, we'll be in some mountains, which is super exciting. Um, I love the mountains, and um, I'm really excited to see what they look like uh, in this game, because the, in the Alps, the Alps are absolutely amazing, so, um, basically, what we're gonna do is, you can see, uh, you can see, let's see, so I was talking about Euro Truck Simulator there, um, I'm gonna pull up this, as you can see, we're really, really, really tired, our person, where's the tired thing, I'm not sure, oh yeah, next rest stop in an hour and 50 minutes in-game, that is not a lot of time, we've actually been blocked off. Oh, wow. Oh, and there goes a train. Anyway, uh, we're just going to get ourselves out of here before our guy, like, literally goes unconscious. Um. Do, do, do. Don't want to mess the truck up at all. And we're going to go find a place to sleep real fast. Um, and then we are going to continue on our way. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to find a, uh, a, a trailer that we are, ooh, look at that, that we're going to take down to, I think it's Santa Fe, something like that. I think it is Santa Fe. Um, let us look at the map. There's always a place to sleep at the, uh, at the good old repair shop. We also need to repair our truck from the, uh, mishaps of last episode, so we will also do that. We'll actually do that first. A repair. I have done so many repairs that I am actually extremely fast at it. Oh, well, not extremely efficient. Boom. Nope, that's the upgrade shop. Uh huh. Service repair. Yep. Let's go. That is how you get forty thousand dollars worth of truck fixed in that short of time. Now, it really doesn't appear to be a place for us to park the truck. Maybe back here it'll let us take a nap. I don't know. Let's see. Will it? Nope. Nope. Not a sleeping spot. Guys, we got we have got we've got to find a sleeping spot. And honestly, I have no idea where we're gonna find that. Um so let's take a look at the map again. Um I guess how can we not go to the northernmost part? <sighs> no, because Basically, this isn't going to be cool at all. It's just going to be a big highway that's supposed to keep going, but it's not. So, um, what we're going to do is I guess we're going to take a load. We'll take an external contract first. Um, so, we'll go to the job market, and we're going to go to external contracts. And we're going to find something that's going to Santa Fe, yep, um, within the area. And if it's an external contract, then we don't need to worry about the sleeping time. We don't want to go that way because we've already been that way. I see what's going to happen. Basically, this is the shortest route, no matter what, to get to Santa Fe. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to take one of these, but we're going to, we're going to take it, uh, the long way to Santa Fe. And it's going to be okay because it's an external contract and I'm going to have 10 hours real time to do the job, which is perfectly fine. Um... We could do double trailers um, on those spinny roads. That'll be quite interesting. Or we could do machine parts. It's going to give me a little bit more money for that. I think we should pull that one. Since we've already done something very similar to that. Um, let me quickly get this thing up and running. Alright. And we're loading in. And we're, we're on the way, we're going to have to, like, seriously find a find a place to sleep. Let's see. 
Current job machine parts. We're gonna get those different colored boxes. All right, we gotta find a place to sleep first. Oh, it's right at rail export. Okay, we'll we'll just get that then, and then uh we'll stop here, I guess. Well, whatever. Um, we'll stop there, and then uh, head on our way this way. There's also a rest stop actually right over towards those construction areas. So that is another option. Ooh, those cars are kind of parked out a little further than I'd like. No. Screw you. Aha! I did it. Stop yawning. It's gonna be okay. Basically, we're gonna sleep through the night, which is gonna be quite interesting, because I don't usually do that. Usually, usually I always end up sleeping during the day. Oh, look, it's a tank. Look at that tank over there. That's cool. And then, that happened in the uh, Euro Truck Simulator videos a lot. I would always, 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 always sleep during the day and be driving at night. Um, not on purpose, just because that's the way it happened. There's a fire truck. Hi. Whoopsie daisies. That was a mistake. See, I when I push random buttons, stuff goes, goes badly. Um, so... And here you are, with me, sitting at a red light, in American Truck Simulator. Basically, what am I doing with my life? I'm sitting here, in a video game, waiting at a red light. What are you doing with your life? You're watching me sit in a truck, <laughs> waiting at a red light. So, I guess neither of us can really talk. Because, <laughs> um, we were literally just here. This is where we came from. Oh my gosh. And... Right over there was where our old trailer was. Rail exports. Let's hook ourselves up and get to that rest stop. Let's see. Now we can get a fine for not sleeping. And I think that might actually happen. There we go. <laughs> Look at our little trailers. They're machine parts. Whoa! Sorry, bud. Um. Gonna watch to make sure those don't clip. Oh! Wow. Okay. I ran into a mailbox. How that mailbox managed to stop a whole truck, I have no idea. But whatever. All right, so let's see our sleeping situation again. Um, whoops, nope, we're turning this way. My bad. Please don't clip the car. Rip car. Boop. It was just a little boop on the nose, nothing much. Why are there so many fire trucks here? My gosh. Seriously, there's a lot. All right, this guy's tired. All right, let's switch this over to uh, cruise control. Set the cruise control to 55 miles an hour. Oh, the lights are turning on for the night. And we're not going to go that way. Though that would be cool. Uh, we're going to go straight. I'm going to overtake this guy. Because we got to sleep. Uh-oh, shoot, my bad. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, we're in first. Nope. Is anyone behind us? I hope not. That's the good thing about messing up this late. Is that <laughs> no one's gonna run into the back of you. Alright. So. Take a big long look. Okay, we're coming out of Ratton. Which is good. And I don't, th in this episode, I don't think we're going to actually make it to the really twisty part. I think that's going to be in episode 16. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go sleep in this area over here. And then, we're going to, uh, to go to the next rest stop. And once we get to the, I gotta turn that off. Once we get to the next rest stop, then we'll finish the video. But we'll see. You know, you never know with American Truck Simulator. It always changes. It's always a little weird. Okay, our... Our sleeping thing just got red. So I think another hour and we'll probably get a fine. Now I don't know how we can be fined for no sleep. But um, I don't know really what it will do to me when I get really 
really sleepy. Uh, as in it might purposely make me crash. Whoa, okay. Ah, whoop, that's not good. We don't want that. that that'll that get us in trouble. Okay, here's an exit. This is where we're going to sleep for the night. So I guess it feels like just a short stop. But in reality, the guy's going to be sleeping like all night. And so this is like the end of the day for him. So it's a nice feeling. I mean, what? This day's lasted a few episodes, like two or three episodes, so. I'm um, just going to keep going straight. Whoop. Okay. And our gas situation is fine. We're not going to even. I mean, we might as well fill up. Why not? If we're going to go through it anyway. Filling up with gas. Whoa, that looks cool. That makes my truck look really cool. Dang. Pure energy. That's really awesome. That calls for a picture. A potential future thumbnail. A potential thumbnail. And I love how the, the lights and the effects carry over. Now, what's funny is they don't always do it perfectly. Pure energy. This is such a great night shot. Gives me such a nice feeling. I don't know why. It just does. A night shot alone in a truck driving across America. It's a pretty cool thing in my opinion. So, we're going to go. It's a late night. We're going to pull in with these other trucks here. And we're going to take a long-deserved rest for all the work we've done today. Good deal. Whoops, nope. I meant to... That, that. That's what I meant to do. Alright, we're going to hit the enter key to rest and see... Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's 8 a.m. We slept through the night. And we are back in our truck. So this is where we slept. We slept on that little thing back there. Really homey. Um, definitely super nice. Um, and gosh, I should get a mod. For, I mean, there's not the Euro Truck Simulator mod. I don't know if it was worth five bucks to have a have a snowball dangling from the ceiling, but it was quite amusing to you guys, especially uh, Demetrius the Bat and Pi the <laughs> Defender of Pi the um, oops, the uh, Bobblehead Jack O' Lantern. Uh, and then we had the computer, and then Jose was my, uh, <laughs> Jose was my, uh, gym bag. I, I, I named my, I named my stuff after loyal YouTube watchers, um, so. Jose, Pi, and Demetrius are some of my most seasoned and, um, committed followers that I've, that have been on the channel for a really long time. Alrighty, so... Do, 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 do. Here we go. And I don't know why it wants me to turn, actually. I thought we were going to be going straight. Something's up. Oh, yeah, this is where we're decide we're changing it up. This is where we're heading this way instead. We're going the long way. So screw you, GPS. Because uh, ain't nobody got time for that. Of that and ladies and gentlemen I believe we may be heading into the mountains I'm not sure um we're gonna go 45 max I think okay well maybe a little faster there we go 50 that's good uh, lights are not on good we don't want them on and what does it say up here Still mom. Okay. Interesting. Um. We're getting ready, guys. We're getting into a pine forest. Keep your eyes out for, uh. Okay, reduction in speed. Okay. 45. We should not be going 45. We should be going way slower than 45. This isn't the heaviest truck, but, uh, we should really be careful. 
This is awesome. This is so cool. All right. And many of you will be delighted to hear that I am planning on, in the near future, getting a wheel. Um, specifically for the truck simulators. Uh, I'm super excited for that. I think it'll be great. The only thing you guys will see different is, uh, the steering wheel won't go bloop, 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 as you guys are used to seeing. So, um, however, I'll have to get a wheel and pedals and everything, so I'll have to get used to all that. And so it might not even be until a couple seasons from now. That's beautiful. Again, one of, if not the biggest, most important part of the video is having a stunning thumbnail in which um, people will click on it. Because that means you guys will be here with me. If you haven't clicked on the video, then I'm pretty sure you, you're not listening to me speaking right now. So, my point exactly. I think we're slowing the cars down behind us a bit. We're going to speed up a bit so I don't feel too bad. I sometimes feel a little bad about... Because I, I, I really disliked... Um, whoa, whoa, what's this? Oh, it's a rest stop. Okay. Whew. Yeah, we're going into the mountains, and it's going to get spinny and windy, and we're, we're actually right next to a river, too. Wow, this is really cool. All right, we should probably pull over to let the cars behind us go. There's not really a place to pull over at the moment, so I'm not going to. This truck's a bit loud for the beautiful nature that we're experiencing right now. All right. So I think we passed the rest stop. I think what that means is we're going to be going straight through the mountains and doing the most spinny, windy bits. Um, but I'll have to take a look. Oh, no, no. Not at all, guys. Not at all. We are only at the beginning. So, yeah, we actually are just going to go to the first rest stop um, for this video. And then the next video will take on the big windy. I don't know what it is, but it looks like it's going to be quite interesting. Got all those cars behind us. So when I was driving, when I was in America, I was driving our blue Honda Odyssey. The problem was I didn't want to go above the speed limit, right? Because I didn't want to get a ticket. I was not a confident driver still learning to drive uh it was only you know six months driving and even even when you know two months in to dr learning to drive regardless i really really disliked um disliked going over the speed limit for obvious reasons um but in a in especially in virginia at least everybody goes over the speed limit literally everyone and so i'm on roads like this because virginia is very hilly um, I'm on roads like this, and I'm also near DC, so there's a lot of cars coming back from rush hour. I'm going what I feel like is really fast. I'm going like the speed limit, which is like 35 or 40 miles an hour. And I've got just like stacks and stacks of cars behind me. And I feel so pressured to go faster, but I don't want to, and I shouldn't feel pressured to. And then, not I don't think I've had any honk at me per se, but like they can't they, they there's just no way they can't be mad at me for you know going the speed limit so anyway we've got all these cars behind us but they'll be fine once we get to our rest stop they won't have that big of a problem oh we've got a big nice lake up here oversized pond And we're coming up on our area here. Whoa, I, I went way out of that. Way out of the lane there. Oh, it's like a little town up here. Reduce speed ahead. It's probably going to be like 35 through. 30 maybe. Yeah, it's 30. Oh, this is cool. Awesome. Okay. wonder how far down that way we can go. Woo. America. 
All right. I can do this place. Pull right in here. It's got two spots for us. Oh, wait. Oh, there's spots over there, too. But these ones are, like, perfect for trucks and everything, so I'm totally going to park here. Awesome. We have done it. We've made it about halfway through what I think are the Rocky Mountains. Well, I mean, I know they're the Rocky Mountains, but I think this is, like, the, uh, the representation, the... ATS representation of the Rocky Mountains um, But it looks like it's gonna get a little more intense as we go um, with all that curvy stuff We might go up a big mountain or something of the sort. I suppose we'll just have to find out I'm so happy you are all able to be here. This is a um, awesome awesome road and uh, Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys for episode 16 where we'll continue the journey to Santa Fe Bye-bye